COVID-19 has greatly restricted traveling and put a damper on the travel and hospitality industry. But, whether for pleasure or business, travel is still possible. Hawaii is currently one of the most difficult places to visit during the pandemic due to its strict health and safety screenings. But, it isn't an impossible feat. If you are interested in visiting the Rainbow State, here's what you need to do to be as safe as possible. Booking a flight to Hawaii doesn't require any special documentation. All of the important work happens a few days prior to the trip. It all starts with a negative COVID-19 test. This will need to happen 72 hours or less from your flight entering Hawaii. Even if you have numerous connecting flights, the only one that matters to the state of Hawaii is the flight that you will have which will land you in Hawaii. HawaiiCOVID19.com provides expansive info on what tests are allowed and what providers they accept. Do know, Hawaii is very specific on what they want, and the website is changed weekly, so keep an eye out on the available providers. In the United States, if you feel that you have come in contact with COVID-19 through work, going out for essentials, or basically any other form of contact, you have a good chance of getting your test for free. For our trip, we used Walgreens drive through option which allowed us to pick a time a few days in advance. It was the COVID-19 rapid test with results guaranteed in 24 hours. We got ours back within 8. With that information, head to travel.hawaii.gov and begin to build your trip. You will need information on the flight number, the airline name, your destination during the trip, and information from a government ID like a driver's license. Some information, like a quarantine exemption code, you do not have to provide if you do not have it. You will also need to upload the lab results PDF that you receive of your negative test to travel.hawaii.gov's website. This, when approved, will allow you to not have to quarantine when you arrive to the island state. 24 hours before you board the flight, you will need to do an online health questionnaire. This is a simple process that took me less than two minutes to complete. You will need to print out your negative COVID-19 test to take with you on the flight. You will also receive a digital QR code from the state of Hawaii allowing you to come into the state and bypass quarantine. This will be available online on the travel.hawaii.gov website once you have been approved. It will also be sent to you via email. You will want this QR code ready, whether printed out or digital on a mobile device. The QR code will look like a normal QR image. The one shown here is digitally altered as to stop anyone from attempting to get a free pass into the state. While airports do their best to be proactive about social distancing, many airlines no longer keep middle seats empty. When boarding our flight to Honolulu, every passenger had to showcase their negative COVID-19 test along with their ticket and government-issued IDs. But, on our specific flight, the entire plane was filled. There was not one empty seat, and back in economy, the seats were close. Airline stewards did a good job reminding others to keep masks up, but know that light snacks were provided as well as drinks. During that time, anyone on the plane was allowed to briefly take off their mask and eat or drink. Therefore, there is the potential for every person on the plane, at some time during the flight, to have been without a mask on for a period. When landing in Hawaii, the process was very simple. Everyone at the airport was extremely helpful and there was ample signage. We were guided into a queue where we waited to be screened and provide the QR and negative test, as well as our government issued IDs. We were sent as a group to an assigned location where our information was validated. We had our government issued IDs, QR codes, and tests verified. The facility we were in was fully air-conditioned and there were numerous employees helping to move guests to their assigned location to be checked. The process took about three minutes per person. After we were cleared, we continued into the airport. While many steps, that is the current process to visit the state of Hawaii. Because we got negative tests, validated the negative test with the state, and included our QR code when we landed, we did not have to quarantine while in the state. That being said, this process does not exempt you from wearing a mask while in the state. CDC guidelines still fully apply and you must social distance and wear masks in public areas. With all of this information, are you planning to visit Hawaii? Let us know how you feel about this process in the comments below.